welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing really well. Please ignore my totally messy hair. This is how it looks from last night's curls. I didn't bother to style it. Just left it the way it is so please don't mind that. So today I am going to review two of Body Shop's expert face masks which is the Ginseng Arise Clarifying Polishing Mask and the British Rose fresh plumping mask now these have been in the market for quite some time now and they also have three more in this range i have two more of these which is the himalayan charcoal and the honey mask i didn't buy the akai mask because i just didn't like the smell of it when i uh, tried it out at the body shop usa stores so i picked up all of these from body shop usa but these are all available now in india online as well as in stores so I haven't started using the Himalayan charcoal and the honey mask yet because I wanted to try out these two first and give them a fair chance, see how they perform on my skin if I see any results. Because with skincare, you have to try it out for quite some time to actually see any change in your skin. So yeah, as I said, these are their expert facial masks and they have been launched in India for rupees 2495, which I think is very very high and I think it is pretty steep for a face mask. But but currently on body shop there is a discount going on like you buy four products and you get 25% off I bought all of mine at USA and there it retails for $28 which even if I convert and check is pretty less than the price here in India so really disappointed with the pricing of these face masks here so all of these masks are 100% vegan and they are targeted towards specific skin concerns like dullness tiredness congestion or you just need hydration so you can do multi-masking with these so I really like that so you can use two different masks at the same time depending on your skin concerns and this is how the outer packaging looks like of both of these so I am going to show you a complete demo on how it applies and how my skin looks after the face mask and I'm also going to share my complete thoughts on this so if you want to know more on how these products work then please keep on watching. So I'm going to go one by one with each face mask. So first one is the Chinese Ginseng and Rice Clarifying Polishing Mask. This is how it looks like. I first of all love the packaging of these masks. They look very very elegant and very luxurious. They look really nice and it's one of the best packaging from Body Shop. Really like these. So both Ginseng and Rice have various skin benefits. Ginseng is very famous for its anti-aging properties. It also gives like a boost of energy and it helps to tone up the skin and also brightens up the skin rice acts as a very nice natural exfoliant it's not very harsh but it removes the dead skin cells and also brightens up your skin tone so first let me read what they have to say about this mask inspired by chinese traditions our creamy exfoliating mask combines revitalizing ginseng moisturizing rice extract and skin softening sesame seed oil to reveal brighter looking even supple skin instantly skin appears brighter revitalized velvety smooth and pores appear minimized facial after facial skin imperfections appear reduced skin appears more even and glowing and feels renewed so yeah that's what they have to say about this mask so now let's get into the demo and see how it applies and how it works on my skin so this is my bare face i do have pores i do have texture i do have acne marks so my skin is like pretty dull and having a lot of different concerns lately so i'm going to start off with the chinese ginseng and rice clarifying polishing mask first of all it smells so good love the scent of this so i'm using the body shop uh, face mask brush to apply this just because it's mess free as you can see it applies pretty well on my face it is a little bit messy because of the exfoliating particles because they do crumble up a little bit and just fall off so it gets a little messy so as i'm applying it it feels very cool very calming feels really refreshing and this mask has not irritated my skin or hasn't caused any breakouts so i'm going to keep this on for 15 minutes and once it dries up i'm going to get back to you guys and show the results so 15 minutes are now over and as you can see the mask doesn't dry down completely it doesn't feel hard or stiff like any clay mask would so before I rinse it off, I am going to gently massage my face, concentrating in the areas where I have pores or have congestion like my T-zone. So I'm going to massage it very lightly so that it exfoliates the dead skin. So 
this is how my face looks like after the mask. You can definitely see an instant glow on my face. So yes, the claim is true for that. And my skin really feels extremely soft, very, very soft. And it feels very firm, it feels tighter and it looks very, very clear. So really like that. And the pores also are a little minimized, not a lot, but yes, they look a bit minimized. Too. So so yeah, that was a demo on the polishing mask and I always follow it up with the British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask. Again, the packaging is very, very nice. This smells so good. It smells like roses. It smells so good. I really can't describe the scent. So let me read what they have to say about this mask. So inspired by the European bathing rituals, a refreshing gel mask is infused with real rose petals, moisturizing rose essences, toning rose with oil and soothing aloe vera which combine to leave the skin plumped with moisture and visibly smooth. Instantly skin is replenished with moisture and feels ultra smooth, silky soft and toned. Facial after facial, a dewy youthful glow is revealed. Again, you can use this two to three times a week or even daily if you need so. So yeah, that's what they have to say about the mask. And now let's get into a demo on this. So as you can see, it applies very well on my skin. It has a very nice gel texture. Again, it feels really cooling on the skin as you apply it. And it does have the tiny rose petals in it, which you can see on the skin as well. And I do apply a thick layer all over my face and I just let this sit for 15 minutes again I like to keep it on for a longer time and I once the 15 minutes are over I will get back to you guys so 15 minutes are now over and as you can see it has like absorbed into my skin it doesn't look thick and gel like as before so this is how my skin looks like after the mask and it does feel really nice and soft it feels uh, smooth it also could be because of the polishing mask that I used before but yes my skin does feel hydrated and feels really nice after this mask so yeah that was all the demo on these face masks now coming to my personal thoughts on this first of all I think they are overpriced I would really prefer if they were slightly cheaper because I think not everyone would go for these face masks just for the price of it so yeah they are pretty overpriced as per my personal opinion so yeah coming to the performance of these face masks I truly love this uh, ginseng and rice face mask it has been my absolute your favorite i have used so much of this already and you don't need a lot of it to see the results i really love the way my skin feels after using this just love the glow it gives and how nice clear and firm it feels after using this so i know these are pricey but this one is definitely worth investing in because it is an all-in-one face mask it's going to give you glow it's going to exfoliate as well as keep you hydrated it's not going to strip you off from all the oils in your face coming to the blue rose uh, fresh plumping mask this one is nice but i don't think it's worth the price i don't see amazing results after using this now i have used it just by itself not necessarily always after using this one so even when i use it just by itself i don't see amazing results after using this so they are available in a sample size at the body shop store so i would say try those samples out first see how you feel about it and then go ahead and buy these because they are pricey but yeah overall i love this one this one was not that great for me so you you can skip this but yeah i really enjoy using these face masks although this one doesn't give a wow results i will still continue using them so yeah that's it for the review on these face masks i hope i've covered every point if i've missed out on something if you have any other questions or any doubts then please do ask me in the comment section down below i'll be happy to answer yours so yeah that's it for this review i hope you really found this helpful and i hope you'll enjoy this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and i shall meet you in my next video bye